back in my art room. So today I'm going to do some trials of my Americana deco art paint. They were nice enough to send me some samples. This is a Snow White one. So what I'm going to do today is a bottle bottom pour with the deco art and their pouring medium. So I'm going to show you the colors I have already mixed. So I already mixed up uh, Bahama Blue and I've already mixed Desert Turquoise. This is Americana brand decor. And I've mixed up the white. You can get it, the white in a, a larger jar too. And you can also buy them in a this size, which is probably more economical. So right now I also have Ultra Deep, Ultra Blue Deep. And I'm going to mix this one. I'll sh sort of show you how I mix it. So I have these neat little measuring cups. So I've added one ounce of my paint and I will add, now I will add my pouring medium to this little cup. So there's one ounce and I'll go up to the two ounces because you mix with this type of paint and this, you mix one to one ratio. One ounce paint to one ounce pouring medium. And if you're using tube paint, you, the instructions are on the back. It tells you exactly how much to use for each type of paint. So there's my cup. I'll just mix this up good. And it comes out to a really pretty good consistency. There, you can see it against my arm there. So it runs smoothly off the stick in a nice stream like syrup. Okay. So whatever I don't use, if I, I'm going to save it for my next pour and I will add them to my little cups that I have with lids just so that it stays fresh. So uh, today I'm going to add one drop of silicone or maybe two drops of silicone in this size in the two ounce, three, actually that's three ounces. And I think I will add it to the dark purple, the dark turquoise. I give this another stir. I have treadmill silicone, and this is um, this is three ounces of paint, so I will add two drops. One. Whoops, that was a stream. I should have just, I shouldn't have squeezed it. So that's probably three drops. I give it a little stir. And there we go. So I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. Hope you can hear me okay. I've got a little, a new speak, new microphone, so it should be good. So I'm going to take some of my white paint. I'm just going to spread some on here, just to give it some something to move against.
I usually use Floetrol. And I was going to use my white Floetrol paint in here on the bottom, but I thought, no, keep everything the same. It's a better test if everything's the same brand. Where's my, I think I'll use my spatula. Or my little knife here. I've used Americana paints before in some folk art painting I used to do, and it's pretty good paint. It's a little bit better quality or pigments, I guess, than the regular deco art paint, craft paint. to be perfect is the other paint's going to pour right over top of it. <clears throat> okay. So, I think I will start with white. And I just make sure this is a level, as level as I could get it, this bottle. So, I'll start with some white. I just uh, make sure my can. Consistency is okay with this white. I didn't add any water. some of my favorite colors. Now this is the one with the silicone. I think I'll do the dark blue first. Oh, this is a beautiful blue. Oops, too much paint went down there now. Well, that was a bit of an accident there. Too much paint went down one side. Well, maybe I'll just add a little more. Just to this side. Just to even it out. All right. I think I'll use the light turquoise. Whoops. the one with the silicone in it. And then I think I'll just do a bit of white.
All these colors are opaque colors. I wrote it on the top just to check. And this one is trans supposedly transparent, the deep blue. So we'll see if that makes any difference. Okay, I'll do the dark blue again. The light blue, or the, this is called Bahama blue. one's called deep turquoise the lines are very crisp very crisp a little bit of white looks pretty gotta decide when to stop here after the this test with the deco art I'm gonna do a I think I'll do a string pull with the deco art and see how that comes out in my next video hopefully see how that one works I really love these bottom bottle pours. They're just so cool. Hope everybody else likes them. And if you subscribe, then you'll get more, you'll be able to see more of my videos. If you hit the bell, then you'll get a notification when my next one comes up which is always handy if you're a regular. I'm gonna try and do a couple a week. Three at the max. This week is only two because it was a holiday Monday yesterday in Canada, so I was away. So that's why I'm doing, probably do two today.
I don't see any cells forming, but once I start to move it, there should be some. hoping anyway. I like it when there's just a few cells around the edges. I did a red and yellow one and I had silicone in just one of the reds and just around the edges the cells came out. It was very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick to these colors, right? at the end. I think a couple more and then this takes a lot of paint. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. Do a little bit of the blue now, dark blue. getting to the time where I need to stop. I'll do a little more white.
Okay. Well, I think I'm going to stop. I think, I think, I think. I didn't want to stretch it too much, but I hope it doesn't ruin anything. And I'll just have to stretch it very slow. Just lift this straight up. Heat will flow into the middle. I'll put some this blue in the middle. Whoops. Didn't mean for that to happen, but okay. Let's start to move this around. Very carefully. I'll do my lines. Go back now. I think I'll go this way. the other way now.
come back this way. Wipe my hands off. Come back to center. Whoa, look at the paint. Colors are so vibrant. So vibrant. I'm going to go through this one again. clean that. Just to add a little bit of design or embellishment to this. I'll try and come back this way a little bit. Well, there's not any, hardly any cells coming through on this. I'm surprised. I'm actually a little disappointed. Unless they appear as it sits, that could happen. All right, I'll hold it up close for you guys. This has been a long video, sorry about that. And I'll come back and take a picture of it when it's dry and show you the results. I'm happy with the colors and how everything flowed. So we'll see how it dries. Thank you for watching. Come back soon.